Do 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 YouTube Hardball Crazy Comeback video. And uh, tonight I'm going to talk about my first ever auction house um, purchase. Yep, I went down the auction house rabbit hole and uh, made my first purchase. And I'll tell you about it in a minute, but here's a few other cards I'm going to show, uh, talk about here briefly. First is the most recent. I finally pulled a, picked up a 2024 Tops Miguel Cabrera card. His last base card that has as well as complete stats in the back. So to add to my um, last year playing days uh, collection and also my Miguel Cabrera Tops flagship run too. Um, speak of Tigers, this guy made his uh, Detroit Tigers spring training debut yesterday and he was pretty filthy. Former first round pick, third overall pick, Jackson Job. Uh, yeah, he was uh, pretty lights out yesterday. He kind of was the talk of the town after the game. That's how filthy he was. So hopefully he'll be uh, stay healthy and be with the Tigers real shortly. Fun fact about Jackson Job is if you're a longtime golfer, PGA fan, remember Brant Job? Uh, he didn't. I don't think he won a lot in PGA Tour, uh, but that's his father. A little fun fact there. Um, Speaking of minor leaguers or amateur guys, you know, you know about Matt Holiday and his son Jackson Holiday, obviously. Jackson Holiday is one of the top names in prospecting these days and could be with the Orioles shortly. He's tearing it up in the minors. Well, Jackson Holiday has a younger brother, and I pulled this card out of Panini Stars and Stripes last year. It's Ethan Holiday. Add to the old uh, family tree, I guess. And... Um, my kind of version of prospecting is not paying high dollars for young prospects who may become the next Mike Trouts and whomever, um, Pedro Martinez's and and Willie Mays and Mickey Mantles and Biggies and Pujols's, whatever star you want to pick. But my version of prospecting is kind of, who could be Hall of Famers and, and picking up cards before they be jump in price or before they kind of get uh, eaten up in the hobby by some other collectors by the time demand goes up not so much for flipping but just getting them before everybody else does and this is a possible future hall of famer who knows if i if i it doesn't become a this is my pros why i prospect these guys too if they're not hall of famers oh well i got hall of very goods and great players nonetheless is uh i got a 2006 sp authentic Autograph rookie card of John Lester. Number to 399. Always like John Lester. Uh, workhorse pitcher. Uh, my type of pitchers. Goes out there and and uh, eats up a lot of innings. A winner. Not afraid of big game. So I picked up his autograph rookie card. Uh, here's a rare insert. You're familiar with the 93 Pinnacle. Cooperstown insert set. Did you, did you know there's a Dufex parallel? Only a thousand of these were printed, and they were part of a giveaway at a sports car convention. Not a really, a, not a hobby car show, but like a convention amongst um, hobbyists and dealers and industry people. And it was wasn't very well attended, so. Um, they were have left over and they kind of trickle in in the on the secondary market and other avenues but these were never in the packs retail or hobby and only a thousand of these sets were printed here's roberto alomar i recently learned about this set and i wanted to pick one up and i want to pick up it says cooperstown set i want actually somebody who actually went to got into cooperstown because the set does have people like mark mcguire and Doc gooden and and Dale Murphy and others who didn't uh, make it into Cooperstown, but regardless of deserving or not, but they're not. So I picked up an Alamar and uh, added my little PC of little 90s inserts and um, as such. Okay, back to my uh, auction house premium. You know I'm a big Negro League collector. I have been looking for a neat card of this gentleman for a while. I have his autograph. And, uh, and then Ron Lewis uh, postcard. I had that for a while, but I did pass up on a, like pass up, I just kind of let it sit there on eBay and somebody else snatched it up before I did. 
of a card of him from a 49 Acebo Isia. Uh, I believe that's a Cuban set too. This is a Cuban set. I bought it at Auction House. You're all familiar with the um, Cuban Auction House. Uh, if you went to the National last year, uh, the, he had a table. His name is Ryan, I believe. Yes, his name is Ryan, and he had uh, set up, at, um, I bought a car from him, and uh, I know some of you also bought cars from him, uh, but I went on his banning list, and uh, so I get alerts when he's on his uh, auction houses on his Cuban cards, and Nico, so I add to my Nico Lee PC, and I added this card here, Quincy Troop, all-star catcher, uh, Played several year All Stars in several years in Negro Leagues, like five, six times at All Star. With the Cleveland Buckeyes, mostly in the 40s, won a, uh, won a, a college uh, Negro League World Series in 45 with the Cleveland Buckeyes as a player manager. The star player on that team was Sam Jethro. And he played in Cuba here. He played in uh, Mexico, I believe. He played in Canada. He's part of um, Satchel Page's. Touring All Stars in uh, barnstorming, and he actually uh, quit uh, baseball for a little bit to become a pro boxer. Went back to baseball. Base uh, his career was um, was a um, pause for a minute because of World War II. So he was not really all. He was all, his career was all over the place. So that's why why he doesn't get much Hall of Fame momentum because his career is rather fragmented. But he was one heck of a catcher, one of the top catchers of his era. But Nobody knows much about him. And this is a 4950 Alerta Premium. I don't know too much about him. I try to read up, find some information about him prior to this video, and I didn't, didn't um, find much on him. But this is like a 70 car set of four teams in Cuba, and each team is has a different color. This is Mariano. There's also Almonderos, Cienfuegos, and Habana. And the 70 car set, like I said, the big headliner in the set is Ray Dandridge. There's a few other notable names too, like um, Max Manning, uh, Roberto Estelea, um, I forgot the other, Connie Marrero was in the set. But I uh, finally added Quincy Troop to the uh, my PC, thanks to Cuban Auction House uh, auction. I was trying to get a R.D. Wilson Toloteros card, but uh, what went on my price range is a few other cards in there I wanted, but they were out of, they were like pipe dream stuff, but um, cool stuff. I'm always look, whenever I, looking forward to his next auction. Maybe I can find some obscure Pine Days cards as some legal leaguers from the Cuban issues of some. And um, that's my video for the night. I thank you for watching and I have a good night.